Will we meet the same end as the dinosaurs? Millions of asteroids litter the solar system and astronomers find new ones every year. The box truck sized rock 2023 BU, which had only been discovered a week earlier, made one of the known near-Earth objects closest approaches to Earth ever seen in January, according to astronomers. And now, according to NASA, an asteroid has been found speeding toward Earth to wreak havoc. When will this asteroid strike Earth? And what will happen to us when it does? Let's find out. Any space object that comes within 120 million miles or 193 million kilometers of Earth is designated as a near-Earth object by the Space Agency. And any large object that comes within 4.65 million miles or 7.5 million kilometers of our planet is categorized as potentially hazardous by the same organization. Near-Earth objects NEOs, have frequently impacted Earth throughout its history, either reaching the surface or exploding above the ground as a result of the powerful energy generated when the item went through the atmosphere. Like volcanoes, asteroid impacts are natural occurrences that alter the surface of our planet. There have been a few notable exceptions, but the vast majority of these hits were caused by relatively small items. The events of Chelyabinsk Above the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, an asteroid with a diameter of roughly 20 meters entered Earth's atmosphere in 2013. It detonated while it was still in the air, delivering 500 kilotons of TNT's worth of energy. Fortunately, it burst around 30 kilometers above the surface and avoided any direct impacts. However, it sent a shockwave through six cities, inflicting 1,500 injuries and 7,200 structure damages. Those who witnessed the brilliant flash and went to windows to look outside were the ones who sustained the majority of the injuries. The shockwave arrived later and shattered the windows, hurtling individuals with flying glass because it was traveling at a slower speed than sound. The Tunguska event. In Tunguska, Russia in 1908, an asteroid or comet with a diameter of about 30 meters entered the atmosphere and exploded above the ground. Around 80 million trees were destroyed by the explosion, over 2,150 square kilometers or 830 square miles. According to estimates, this explosion is 1,000 times more powerful than the one caused by the Hiroshima atomic bomb. If this had happened over a major metropolis, it would have entirely devastated that city. Fortunately, it took place in a quiet region of Siberia, and no one is believed to have been hurt. The event at Chicxulub In what is now Mexico, an asteroid with a diameter of 10 to 15 kilometers or 6 to 9 miles struck Earth 65 million years ago. The dinosaurs were among the 70% of Earth's species that perished in the impact. The size of that impact would have had catastrophic effects, and the geological record provides some clues as to what transpired. The asteroid struck in water, causing mega tsunamis to sweep up a shallow inland ocean that covered what is now the Great Plains, spreading from southeast Mexico all the way to Texas and Florida. Asteroid and Earth fragments would have been launched by the explosion far enough to momentarily leave the atmosphere before crashing back to Earth. All of this material would have been heated to incandescence upon re-entry, burning the Earth's surface and starting wildfires like millions of shooting stars. The forests on Earth may have all burned. Global earthquakes and possibly volcanic eruptions would have been brought on by enormous shockwaves in the meanwhile. In less than a second, the impactor would have slammed underground, creating a crater that would have released a cloud of extremely hot dust, ash and steam. For up to 10 years, this dust may have completely blanketed the surface of the planet, making life on Earth difficult to sustain. More importantly, the dust may have persisted in the atmosphere for an extended period of time obstructing the sun, preventing plants from photosynthesis, 
which is essential for the entire food chain and reducing Earth's temperatures. Now the question, when is the next event, is first in everyone's mind. NEOs of many various sizes can pose major hazards, even though massive impactors like the ones that destroyed the entire planet 65 million years ago are extremely rare. Millions of people might die in an impact over or on heavily populated metropolis, while a water impact could result in significant coastal flooding. Any significant impact would cause extensive harm, harm and death, as well as unprecedented humanitarian and refugee crises around the planet. So you might want to postpone your 2046 Valentine's Day date. According to NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Agency, a newly discovered asteroid around the size of an Olympic swimming pool has a 23-year chance of striking Earth with a potential impact on Valentine's Day in 2046. According to data forecasts from the European Space Agency, the asteroid has a 1 in 625 chance of hitting Earth. However, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Sentry System estimated the odds to be closer to 1 in 560. The latter keeps an eye out for possible collisions with celestial bodies. Yet the space rock known as 2023DW is the only one on NASA's risk list that receives a Torino Impact Hazard Scale Rating of 1 out of 10, which is a scale used to classify the likelihood of an object impacting Earth. On the Torino scale, all other objects are ranked as zero. Although the 2023DW is at the top of the list, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory states that its ranking of one only means that the chance of collision is extremely unlikely with no calls for public attention or public concern, whereas a ranking of zero means that the likelihood of a collision is zero or is so low as to be effectively zero. Officials from NASA have issued a warning that when more observations of DW2023 are gathered and more analysis is conducted, the probability of an impact may be substantially changed. Newly discovered asteroids may appear more dangerous at first glance. It is more likely that orbits resulting from relatively small observation sets will enable subsequent strikes since such orbits are more unpredictable. But when we add more data and lessen the uncertainty in the object's orbit, such early forecasts are frequently thrown out. The hazard posed by a particular object will typically diminish when more observations become available, although it might not always be. The asteroid has a diameter of roughly 50 meters or 160 feet. The closest predicted landing of 2023DW on Earth will occur on February 14, 2046, and there will be nine further estimated close encounters between 2047 and 2054. About 1.1 million miles is projected to separate the asteroid from Earth at its closest point, 1.8 million kilometers. Over 28,000 asteroids are tracked by NASA using the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, ATLAS, a network of four telescopes that can survey the whole night sky once every 24 hours. When scientists first noticed the Space Rock 2023DW in the sky on the 2nd of February, they discovered that it is traveling about 15.5 miles per second, 25 kilometers per second, at a distance of more than 11 million miles or 18 million kilometers from Earth, completing one loop around the Sun every 271 days. If 2023DW did collide with Earth, it wouldn't be as catastrophic as the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs 65 million years ago and had a diameter of 7.5 miles or 12 kilometers. This does not, however, imply that smaller asteroids of its size are not hazardous. A bowling ball-sized asteroid that detonated above Vermont in March 2021, for instance, had the explosive power of 440 pounds, that's 200 kilograms, of TNT. Even more dramatically, 
the Chelyabinsk event in Russia produced an explosion that injured about 1,500 people and produced an explosion equivalent to 400 to 500 kilotons of TNT, or 26 to 33 times the energy released by the Hiroshima bomb. In addition, 2023 DW could ruin your day if it passes over a region with a lot of people or triggers a tsunami of some kind. Calculations indicate that the Pacific Ocean region would likely be affected if it were to impact Earth. According to calculations from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, it will most likely miss Earth on its closest approach by about 2 million kilometers. Hence, that's the reason there's no need to panic, although events may alter. Yet, if an asteroid were to ever approach us, space agencies from all across the world are already developing potential strategies to divert it. In the first test of the Planetary Defense System for Earth, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, spacecraft rammed the non-hazardous asteroid Dimorphos off-track in September 26th of last year. The Dimorphos asteroid was slightly deflected by NASA's asteroid-punishing DART probe. Dimorphos' orbit was reduced by 32 minutes, and a million kilograms of rocky soil and dust was thrown up in the crash. Since then, NASA has hailed the mission as a complete success. According to experts, this strategy for planetary defense would be successful if astronomers could identify the target asteroid years in advance and send an appropriate probe to intercept it. An asteroid redirect mission may already be in the early phases of development even in China. There is a possibly hazardous object known as the rubble pile asteroid Bennu, which is taller than the Empire State Building. And the nation hopes to prevent the asteroid Bennu from colliding disastrously with Earth by launching 23 Long March 5 rockets into space in the years 2175 to 2199. Bennu will swing within 4.6 million miles or 7.4 million kilometers of Earth's orbit. Something ominous will also occur on April the 13th, 2029, which also happens to be Friday the 13th. The 1,100-foot-wide Apophis, a sizable asteroid, will approach so close to Earth that it will be visible in the sky from some locations. Importantly, the enormous rock will not collide with our tiny planet but it will pass less than 20,000 miles from Earth's surface, which is closer than the orbit of some of the most valuable meteorological satellites in the US. Massive impacts from asteroids like Apophis pose tremendous hazards to our lives, while also having the potential to make many species' habitats uninhabitable. There is a good chance that we would now be able to predict events like the Tunguska Events Blast which had the potential to hurt or completely destroy a metropolitan region today. The Tunguska rock is not the only thing that NASA and other organizations have found to be extremely harmful. The Center for Near-Earth Object Studies at NASA uses large telescopes to search for asteroids and comets that enter Earth's neighborhood or approach within 45 million kilometers or 28 million miles of the planet's orbit. Almost 90% of the biggest buoys or rocks greater than 1 kilometer or 0.6 miles have been discovered by NASA, including the roughly 6-mile-wide monster that killed the dinosaurs. However, there are still plenty of hazardous rocks. Two out of three NEOs wider than 460 feet, or rocks at least three times the size of Tunguska, according to scientists, haven't been discovered. As demonstrated by the unexpected 56-foot or 17-meter rock explosion over Russia in 2013 that blasted out people's windows, even a much smaller asteroid of more than about 30 feet or 10 meters is still dangerous. NASA astronomers and orbital modelers will run hundreds of simulations, something like weather or hurricane prediction, if it should come to pass that a huge asteroid is headed for Earth to estimate where it is likely to land. Since seas cover 71% of Earth, there is a good chance that many rocks won't pelt the land. Fortunately, Earth is an ocean world. Therefore, it could not matter where a large enough rock lands. But what happens if we don't discover these asteroids before it's too late? I guess we will soon find out the answer to that question.
Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.